have passed since the Great East Japan Earthquake and the accident at Fukushima Daiichi Nuclear Power Station in 2011. Since immediately after the accident, Japan has taken comprehensive measures to ensure food safety, which has led many countries to lift import restrictions they once imposed on Japanese food products. Now, Japanese food products are distributed without any restrictions in Japan, and also in overseas markets in many of these countries. In Japan, a number of measures has been taken to prevent contamination of food from radionuclides released by the accident. Removal of released radionuclides such as by decontamination of farmland was widely conducted in the wake of the accident. Since the level of radionuclides have significantly decreased, now control of radioactivity in food products before shipment by monitoring of agriculture produce and wild harvests remain the core measure. Any products that exceeded Japanese maximum permissible levels of radionuclides shall be recalled and disposed of. Also, further shipment is suspended by national and local governments to prevent the contaminated food from entering the food supply chain. After the accident, Japan has revised and set the maximum level of radionuclides in safe side, namely 100 becquerel slash kg of radio cesium for food in general. The Codex Alimentarius Commission's International Food Standard set the guideline level of 1,000 becquerel slash kg as safe for human consumption. Furthermore, 10 times higher value can be adopted for food consumed in small quantities due to small contribution to the total diet and resulting smaller health effect, and EU adopts this higher level for so-called minor food. Japanese maximum levels are set in the safe side compared to these international levels. In Japanese fiscal year 2019, monitoring was conducted on more than 270,000 samples of major food products, and not a single sample exceeded the Japanese maximum levels set in safe side than the Codex guideline levels. This monetary result reassures the safety of Japanese food products. Total diet study conducted biannually by Ministry of Health, Labor and Welfare in 15 survey sites in Japan, including three sites in Fukushima Prefecture, estimated the exposure dose of radio cesium in food at a low level, which is only 1 two hundredths of natural radionuclide potassium-40, as well as 1 thousandths of the level internationally recommended as safe for the public. Japan, in collaboration with the IAEA, performs interlaboratory comparisons on radioactivity data collected and analyzed on seawater, marine sediment and fishery products from coastal waters in Fukushima Prefecture, which concluded that Japanese laboratories produce reliable data. The joint FAO-IAEA division has stated that measures taken to monitor and respond to issues regarding radionuclide contamination of food are appropriate and that the food supply chain is controlled effectively. Although there was a temporary drop in food exports from Japan after the disasters, the exports have recovered and even exceeded that of pre-disaster level. In fact, exports stood at around 990 billion yen in 2020, more than double the figure in 2010, the year before the earthquake. Even from Fukushima Prefecture, which suffered the most from the accident, Exports of agricultural produce have been boosted over recent years. Export figures from Fukushima Prefecture recorded in 2019 is twice as much as that of 2010, the year before the earthquake. To cite some examples of food exports from Fukushima, rice and peach are exported to Thailand and Indonesia, and processed food and sake are exported to the United States and Hong Kong. Food produced in Fukushima is consumed in Japan as well as in many countries and regions abroad. 54 countries and regions introduced import restrictions or control measures on Japanese food products soon after the accident. After 10 years of the accident, now, responding to the information provided by Japan on the measures taken in assuring safety of the food products and the scientific evidences, more than 70% of those, 39 countries and regions, have now lifted all their import measures introduced after the accident. At the same time, the remaining import measures are a heavy burden for the industry of the disaster area as those are preventing the food production to pick up. Japan will continuously work towards ending all the remaining measures by communication of the safety of Japanese food products with transparency. Japan will continue to make utmost efforts to deliver safe and quality food products all over the world.
We hope you can benefit from our fresh food products as we daily enjoy.